Hey guys, doing this evening, man. This is Ruby 186 back again with another live stream. This one is going to be um, this is pretty much this uh, live stream. We're gonna be doing uh, we're playing Fire Pro Wrestling. Well, I mean, I'm not technically playing. I'm gonna let this uh, I'm gonna let this go on on um, CPU or CPU. We're gonna sim this. This is the Royal. I mean, King of the Ring. We are going to be, uh, you know, you know, just doing, doing a tournament to crown the new WWF champion. Um, you know, the game I'm playing right now is Fire for Wrestling World. And uh, yeah, man, let's get this done. Let's, let's show. I'm gonna show you all the participants. You got Triple H versus Kamala, Bret Hart versus Andre the Giant, Ted DiBiase versus Shawn Michaels, and the last uh, first round match is Santino Morello versus Umaga. So yeah, so this is going to be completely computer sim. I got everything ready. So, uh, let's go. So. so yeah, this is my first time actually doing this, so. Alright, first match, so yeah, let's go. So uh, all these all these people, all the wrestlers that I have here, are downloaded at this place called Fire Pro Wrestling. Um, let me see. I want to get the right title here. Firepro-w.com. Um, it's a it's a thing that's that's set up by um, Spike Kunsoff, which is the Chunsoff. Excuse me. Those are the the people who created the game. And. Um, you know, there's a bunch of people who, a bunch of people inside the community who created these characters, who created these wrestlers and stuff like that. So, uh, big props to them. You know, I, I downloaded the, uh, you know, the wrestler, the wrestler, the So, yeah. So, so yeah. So, first round matchup to the Lakers with Mala. Yeah, so I, I, you know, I just picked, like, this ten random, or uh, eight random wrestlers to do this. Tournament, so you know we'll see what happens. Um, if I had to pick the, if I had to pick the winner, you know I would have picked Bret Hart to win if he wasn't facing Andre the Giant. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, when it comes to like, you know how how the wrestlers are, are, how they're being controlled and stuff like that, um, there's a thing called computer logic in the game, and you know you, it kind of. And that's the most, you know, I would probably say time-consuming part of creating wrestlers is the computer logic. Because you have to make sure that they're not just doing random shit out there. You have to make sure that um, you pretty much you pretty much programming the CPU to control the way that you want to control. And that's what I, I think is the best part about you know really how the creation works in the game is that it's not just to you know, pick the create a wrestler and that's it. You kind of have to. I mean, in a way, I guess you could say program it to react the way that you want to react. So, you know, they have that. Now, Fire Wrestling has a, has a long history. Um, let me look, let me look this up. Because, um, the first, the first one I ever played was Super Fire Pro Wrestling X Premium on the Super Nintendo. I got it, you know, um, I got, I got it through emulation. For a long, long time ago. I'm gonna look this up because I think the first game to come out came out on Nintendo, I think. I want to, uh. You know, okay, it, it, it came out in 1989. Um, and by Human Entertainment. They were the original creators of the, uh, the Fire Pro Wrestling series. And, um. The first, yeah, the first game was. First game that they came out with was Fire Pro Wrestling Combination Tag. Which again, I, obviously I've never played the game, but uh, the first one I played was the uh, you know Super Fire Pro Wrestling X Premium, and they, that that game was on the Super Nintendo. And ladies and gentlemen, like the wrestling games on the Super Nintendo back in the day were were average at best. Um, but the, the, that Fire Pro Wrestling game was so far ahead of. Of professional wrestling games on the Super Nintendo I mean, just you know, created. He had created wrestlers even back then. 
greater wrestler, you know, Kamala kicking the people's ass right now. Um, but, um, yeah, greater, you know, had greater wrestler, had a shift in the character, you know, from the game, just Kamala looking at the game when it came out back then. That was the first one I, that was, that was the first one I came out that, that, uh, that I played. Um, you know, yeah, so it's had, it's had a bunch of, Fire Wrestling has had a bunch of, um, has had a bunch of, um, Games come out in, in its history. Uh, you know, like, you know, it had, you know, it had the first game from it. Uh, it then it had, you know, Fire Force and Second Bout in 1991. They had the uh, Super Fire Force and games, uh, the first game Super Fire Pro in 91. I know they had a few, and they had Super Fire Pro Wrestling 2 that came out a year later. And then Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3, Final Bout that came out in 93. Um, they had a... Okay, they had a, I think they had one, um... And then they had Fire Pro Wrestling Special in 94. Super Fire Pro Wrestling Queen Special, which I believe um, that one is the Okay, this one was um Because Queen Special, I've always heard of Queen Special, I've always wanted to play it, but, um, this one had, I think this one had female wrestlers, I know it definitely had female wrestlers, I don't know if it was all female wrestlers. Okay, 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 this one had, like, this one had licensed wrestlers of, um, this one had licensed female wrestlers. That one, I've always heard about that one. And then obviously, uh, uh, you know, they had Super Fire Pro Wrestling X, which came out in 95, and Premium that came out in 96. That was, that was the one that I, uh, that was the one that I discovered from a friend of mine. And, uh, you know, and I downloaded it to emulation, and it was, it was far beyond any game that I really seen come out. Yeah, we fucked up a little bit my life in the I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, you know, and then, you know, obviously, after, after X Premium, you, you know, they had um, six men scramble on the, on, the Sega Genesis, on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, you know, I've never used Sega Saturn, but if I did, this would probably be the only game I put on it. Um, and then they had Fire for SMG, which was on the original PlayStation. And, uh, I'm just looking through the main one. Um, Fire for SMG on the Dreamcast. And they had and they had a few, um, they had two Fire for SMG games on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, which were, I mean, uh, two, two was fine. I, I didn't really, it was, two was okay, but the first one was definitely, was definitely, uh, Fire Pro Wrestling Z on the PS2, and the one that I played was Fire Pro Wrestling Return, which was, a, was pretty much an updated version of uh, the updated version of Z. And uh, Xbox, they had the, and then on the 360, they had a Fire Pro Wrestling game, but it was kind of like one of those like uh, bullshit ass ones where, where it was pretty much new with wrestling the Avatar and stuff like that. Clearly, Kamal is getting tired. He's all about his getting tired. You know, yeah. So, and then, you know, the one I'm playing currently is Fire Pro Wrestling. 
So yeah, so it, 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 the series has a long, a long standing history. Five, this could be it. Two, three. In. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so tomorrow we're going to have to do Mike Brown. King of the Ring. So yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, so right now I'm just here just bullshitting. Um... This, I doesn't really have a topic or any. I don't really have any topics or anything like that to talk about. So, Kamala wins. Um, it has a match evaluation, so so obviously you know, 79 is obviously a good score. Um, I I have achieved 100 before, and um, you know like you know, 79 not a bad not a bad match, but I'm I'm a little bit surprised Kamala won. But like I said, it's pretty much dependent on the computer logic of each character. Alright, so Kamala events to the next round. Next one is Bret Hart versus Andre the Giant. So, let's go. Alright. So, alright, so I, apparently there's supposed to be the nominees for the VGAs are supposed to come out today. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna look through Twitter. Um. So, I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, do what's going on here. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I hope he wins, but I don't think, I don't think he's going to win. So I'm, I'm just looking through Twitter right now, just, you know, trying to find a place to talk about. Um, PUBG is finally coming out on P PS4. Uh, I, I, you know, I like PUBG, but I just, you know, to me, I just, I don't know. There's something about it where... I'm just not really interested in playing it anymore. Um, you know, so I mean, for those of you who have PS4s, I mean, I guess you can check it out. I guess I don't know how, I don't know how it's gonna perform because um, that's one of the biggest issues with the game. The game's been has uh, performance issues, has had a shit ton of performance issues. Um, I don't know, I don't know how well it's gonna perform on PlayStation. To be honest with you, because you, know, you have H1Z1, which I, it was actually is a, a game that I. That I um, actually, I actually don't like that game. Um, so you know, it's definitely Funky is definitely the superior um, battle royale game. But you know, you do have that on the PlayStation. Uh, you know, you have obviously you have the Call of Duty game. You have, um, you have uh, Fortnite. Obviously, you know, I stopped playing that game. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of burnt out on the battle royale stuff. <laughs> So, I mean, but, you know, for those of you who are interested, you know, it's, it's out there. And I, I do think it, when it runs well, it's a great game. <laughs> just, to me, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of over the whole battle royale thing. So, you know, there you go. Um, I'm surprised Bret Hart's kind of dominating Andre right now. We got some Xbox fanboys uh, being talked with. Spider-Man, Monster Hunter World, and Red Dead Redemption 2. That's a very interesting list. Uh, I'm surprised, I'm actually a little bit surprised Spider-Man made it on the list, but, um, you know, the game is a high seller. Um, obviously the game is awesome. I, you know, me personally, I, 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 um, you know, I'm still going through the story for both. Um, the two games I played here was God of War and, and Spider-Man. And I'm trying to figure out which one I should pick the game of the year. 
between those two games. Because, you know, obviously I don't have, you know, if I have to get, I think Red Dead is going to win this category. But I also, but it's just for me personally, my game of the year. You know, this, this, okay, here's the thing, right? God of, I, I like God of War a lot. God of War is a great game. Uh, I'm having problems, you know, adjusting to all the changes in God of War. Even after this time. Like, I haven't had the, uh, I haven't had the most time playing it. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I believe that I'm a quarter of the way through the game. I do believe I'm a quarter of the way through the game. Um, where am I at now? Like, uh, without going too spoiler heavy, I just passed... Offenheim, I think that's how you call I, I think that's how you pronounce it, so um, I just passed that and now I'm, I'm kinda like on my on my way through. The thing the thing that is so is cool about God of War is that there are there are so many different you know side quests to do. There's always something like you're always like looking through it and um, you know, you're always looking for hidden packages and stuff like that. Um yeah it's really it's fun man. Like, it's really it's really cool. I, I like the I like the um you know, I like the the combat in God of War a lot, and the, and the best thing about it is that they were able to make uh, Andre Tucker for Hardy. Um, the thing the thing I like about the the, the combat with God of War is that there is it, it feels unique, it feels different than the previous God of War game, and and the cool the thing is that it can look different without it being you know without it being uh, you know, bad or anything like that. So, I like that a lot, um, but I'm still trying to get used to the combat and, and the mechanics of the game. You know, I'm still cool. like that. I'm going to get right back up. And, uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to... Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to... Uh, used to survive. Oh, uh, Spider-Man, that game is just pure, pure fun. You know, I mean, like, the game, I like the combat in Spider-Man as well, but, you know, obviously, for me, the traversal, and, and I gotta be real with you, man, the story's been, is awesome so far, so I, I really do like that, too. So, I'm, 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 I'm stuck between which one I would pick, because, you know, like I said, I think, when you look at it subjectively, I think God of War does more for the, for the genre. Than Spider-Man does, but at the same time, Spider-Man just Spider-Man's fun as fuck, man. Like it's just there's no if and the buck about it, man. It's just fun. So, so yeah, so it's pretty much that's that's your nominee for game of the year. They just released that now. Um, God of War, that's what when it came to the direction, the new direction that the game took, I think that one has the best chance of winning. Even though, you know, you have um, Detroit, which was, um, which a lot of people like, A Way Out, that came out earlier this year, which I think a lot of people like as well. And obviously, you know, obviously, we're going to get on there too, so that, that's going to be important.
Yeah, now nah, if he can go, if he can get the shoot the shark hitter, he could probably win this match if he wanted to right now. One, two, three, Uh-oh. I don't know if you can set up a tank tank, but normally in WWF, they have a tank tank. And in New Japan and the rest of the Japanese US, they have a tank tank. Technically a better match than the first match, and Andre the Giant wins with a with a choke. So, next match. This one is probably going to be. This one probably should be the most competitive of, of this of this bout. Ted DiBiase versus Shawn Michaels. Let's get it started. Share out. Let me share out my uh, live stream real quick. probably be Andre, which is weird because I don't think he's ever won a World Tiger. So. on PS4. Oh crap. Teddy really got a chair. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I have to use on. Oh at least uh, I don't think you can use it. Um yeah, so, um, well yeah so when PUBG comes out it's going to have to be Nathan Drake um desert outfit and Ellie backpack. Um hopefully those things are not um, oh, you can actually feel it's just a fear of the bundle. So I'm, I'm assuming I don't think things gonna cost like forty dollars or whatever. It's so you know, who's the right? Right after um, the nominees announcements are being done live by uh, by Jeff, Jeff uh, TV, so. Yeah, so I mean, so yeah, so yeah. Really, what else? Is, what else? Is uh, so they do have the best esports yeah. player. Um, 
I don't, I don't know, I don't really follow esports all that much. Um, if I had to pick, I would, I would pick Sonic Clock. You know, just for, just because I, he's the only one I've heard of. The content creator. It's funny. Um, Ninja can say the N word, can say nigger, and and get in and, and still be nominated. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, all these guys who are nominated are all Fortnite players, apparently. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, okay, so they have the best ongoing game are Destiny, uh, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, Overwatch, and Um. I don't play any of these games, so... <laughs> um, best independent game, uh, Celeste, Dead Cells, Into the Brand, The Return of Uber Den, which I've never heard of any of um, I'm going to assume Celeste wins, because it's the only game on here that got nominated for a game of the year. So, so yeah, so... Our best art direction is uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Octopath Traveler, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, and Return of Evil Dead. Um, that's interesting. Oh, art direction. I, I would assume, I think, if I had to pick, I think Octopath Traveler could win because it has a, such a cool, unique look. Uh, you know, but, you know, obviously, you know, you have, I, like, I've never, I've never heard of this Return of Evil Dead game. But obviously, Assassin's Creed, Red Dead, and God of War are like visual, stunning games. So, if I had to pick, I think Octopath Traveler is going to win this one. Yeah, it seems like Shawn Michaels has the upper hand so far. Maybe so far, so we'll see. Maybe one half of my of my uh, my favorite pick is going to win the final. One, two. So, I mean, I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch it. So, whatever, whatever, if, if any other uh, nominees pop up on my, uh, pop up on my, uh, pop up on my, on my Twitter feed, then I'll, 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 I'll talk about it here. Ten minutes ago. <laughs> There is something that I wanted to discuss. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I think I made a video on this before about this. Because uh, yeah. How do I roll? There, there is something I wanted to talk about real quick. Because I see, you know, because I'm looking at my feed. I look at I look at what Black Bond been talking about. Uh, there's been a big to do when it comes to the spaces, right? And the, and the PC guys, led by that dummy Tanga and some other people, they 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 say that exclusives are bad or anti-consumer. And to me, I, I don't see it that way. Like I just don't see it that way. I, I can understand if there were some. DLC, you know, for one game as opposed to other, I can understand that being anti consumer But when it comes to like games that are exclusive for one platform or the other, I don't understand why people think that's exclusive that that's anti consumer And a lot of this is driven by by at least by these PC fanboys because at the end of the day, and I get it, I I honestly do get it. They want to play oh, 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 oh. And okay, so back to what I was saying. I understand that they want to. It was like, um, it was like every game is like a But okay. Yeah, and I get it. You know, do you want to play your games at 60 FPS or higher? You want to have all your, you know, you want to have the best 
you want to put clear game the best as possible you can. And I do. I completely understand. Uh oh, uh oh, back, back slide. Oh my God, turn out. You know, look, I, I look, I understand from the beginning. I get it. But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of these dudes don't understand how the game is in the school. And that's just how it is. They don't understand how the game is. A lot of these dudes who came in, oh, okay. I'll back in. You only get two, so. You only get two. Well, you know, so, uh, yeah, so these guys don't understand how re how, how the wrestling is. They don't, they don't get it. I mean, not really. For the wrestling, oh, sure. Um, how the gaming industry works, right? And a lot of these dudes, unfortunately, a lot of these dudes, if I had to guess, a lot of these dudes who, 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 who got into PC gaming, um, you know, for a few games or whatever, and then, you know, they, you know, they, you know, they go around, they go around town, they, they, uh, you know, they bad mouth, uh, you know, console gaming and stuff like that. A lot of these dudes are either, don't know much about console gaming, or they just, you know, they already generally just don't like it. It's one or the other. But the problem is, the, pro the problem with, with these guys is that they think that they're entitled to play every game on their on, on their on their platform. Right? They don't want to buy a console. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. Right? I, and I get it. The problem is that what it's really seems to is that it, it motivates people to buy to buy the platform with console. That's what they're. That's what the. Well, that was exclusive. To. It's supposed to get people to buy games, to buy the hardware. You use software to buy hardware. That's what. That's what the. That's what exclusive. To. Right. And and you know they're upset because they 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 can't play. You know, Charlie, that's just what you They can't play. The last one was just the FPL. They can't do that. And they're upset about it. And to me, like, and they think that because they can't play, uh oh, they're going to run one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So, they're upset about it because they can't play. Oh, shit. Send it up. Send it up. That should be it. Got my turn. Alright, so. Yeah, so they, they're upset about it, and to me, the problem is, is that exclusives are what sells you to a flat. If you don't like it, too bad. That, it is what it is. Right? It is what it is, and these dudes are just crying because they can't play the games on their platform. And they 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 don't want to spend $200, $300 on the, on, the, on the system. That's their problem. And to me, like, that's kind of what Sony wants you to want. Sony wants you to buy their, their console so you can play their game. Simple as that. So as you see, 85%. They're not, not, you know, not surprised. Shawn Michaels had, has the best match of the first round so far. Obviously against a game opponent, Ted DiBiase. So, uh, yeah, so Shawn Michael moves on to the next round. He's going to face the winner of Santino Morella and Umaga. By all accounts, this should be a squash match. Um, so, let's get this going. So, yeah, so, I, I, you know, I just see a bunch of PC guys uh, complaining about it. And, and to be honest with you, man, that's the only thing about PC gamers that I don't like. Those are the only, that's the only thing I don't like about PC gamers. They, they bitch and complain about not buying games on the platform. And so, and they say that one thing. So, no, we do not enter the game. If, they, if, if Sony makes games for that platform, it's for that platform. That's it. Not, you know, it's not rocket science. There's a reason why they do it. And how is it anti-consumer when they're giving their consumers what they want, which is games? And you're just upset because you can't, that you have to spend money to play them.
this one by all accounts should be a squad match. I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna last so um, I don't think he's gonna be like five or ten minutes. Um, but I do think that this, this match is not going to this match is not gonna last too long. This is a long
to the 1980s and 1990s, early 1990s. Well, 98%. This one the best match of the first round, 98%. You know, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I think a lot of people didn't think Merlo would have, uh, would have competed the way that he did, but there you go. Best match of the first round. Now it's time for round two. Second round. Of the King of the Ring tournament, Kamala versus Andre the Giant in the first match, and excuse me, and then, um, you have Shawn Michaels versus Umaga in the second. Round. So let's get to that match right now. And you know what's funny? I actually watched. Um, they've had. Umaga and, and Andre the Giant actually had a um, a rivalry in the early 80s. I um, mean, I watched one of their matches. I think this match was in... Um, yeah, I, I watched it on YouTube. Uh, just get the intros. So, yeah, I think the match, the match that I watched on YouTube was at the... I want to say, I think it was in Toronto. Um, you know, it was, in, it was in a steel cage match. <laughs> And you know Andre was the baby face, Kamala was the heel, and I mean, man, um, yeah, I mean the match is it, 1980s, you know, big men plotting and shit like that. But I was stunned by how athletic Andre the Giant was in his younger days. Yeah, um, very stunned by how by how um, how athletic he was. Because obviously, dude, I mean, there's some, there's some, um, there is some, some. Uh, how do you call it? Like some stories about his height, maybe his height and his weight were embellished and, and stuff. And it was especially his height was, was embellished. But there's no denying that dude was a big dude. That dude was a monster. And you know, he was coming off the I know he did a second row uh, splash on Kamala uh, in that match. Was, that was crazy. Um yeah, but dude was very athletic for for his size. You know, especially in his younger days. Um, yeah, crazy. 
you know, the background, the background of this match. A, a lot of the matches in the first round, um, I think the only match that a actually happened in real life was Umaga vs. Santino. And that match was, I believe that was a squash. I, if I had to get the it would have been a squash. Um, I, think. Um, I don't think, I don't think Brett faced, uh, at least not in a, in a major one. Maybe in some house show, maybe I don't know. Um, obviously, Triple H and Kamala. Um, I don't think they ever face each other. Um, uh, and when Michael versus Ted DiBiase, uh, I don't think so because around the time that you know, DiBiase was always at least is a million dollar man. Gimmick was always a heel in WWE, and the early part of Shawn Michaels is. Um, Heel run. I mean, you know, the singles run. He was a heel also, so I don't think. And you know, I don't think TBR was really that active in the ring anyway. So, so yeah. So pretty much the second round, the second round matchup, all matches that actually do exist in real life. You know, Kamala and, and Andre and Michaels and Umaga. They, I know they had. Um, I know they have at least one match that goes on Raw. Right. Five minutes gone. There you go, man. You got the final four. Yeah, Michaels against the Giants. You know what I mean? I don't know how I don't know how it's gonna end. I, I do think that Andre is gonna win the tournament. You know, but obviously as you can see here, um, you know, with the tournament, you're noticing guys are are, are, are fatigued. Um, right now I think that that you know, came from the previous match, so, so you, you can see that. So these, I don't know if these matches are probably gonna be shorter. I mean, he's already tired. I mean, it could be stamina too. I don't, you know, I don't know. Cause I, again, I didn't create these characters. These are characters that I got from wrestling. Uh, Fire Pro, Black W. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll put the link in the description. On um, if you have the game and you want to see what the community has created, I will. Uh, I will do that. I will. You know, I, will I will put. The, I'll put the. I'll put the link. Um, you need, obviously, you need to have a PSN account and, and get the game in order to uh, do it. And once you're there, once you you go to you download, you download the character, you download the character. The way you download the character is by hitting subscribe uh, underneath the character, underneath the character picture, and you'll download. It. You'll have the character downloaded. Um, you can even download some of the characters that I created. I created two characters so far. Um, Guy and, and um, Joe Higashi. Uh, you know, obviously, um, Guy from Street Fighter and Joe Higashi is from from Fate of Fury and Matt, you know, um, King of Fighters, stuff like that. So, so yeah, so lot, lots of them, not, they don't just have wrestlers in the in the in the, in the uh, on the side too. They have like you know you know MMA fighters. They have you know fictional characters. Stuff like that. So you know, like I said, man, you know, if you don't have the game, get up. Oh, over. Andre wins via submission, and now he wants to win it. Andre is on the verge of winning his first world title, first ever world title. Let's go. Let's see how. Oh shit! Fuck. Let me put that back. Uh, let's see. 70%. So I, I, that's actually um, on the low end of matches that I've seen so far. You know, 10 minutes, you know, elbow, leg lock, you know, it is what it is. You know, so Andre, on to the final round. But who is he going to face? Who is he going to face? Shawn Michaels versus Umaga. Um, back on Twitter real quick. Um, I think with the next update, you can put in your own, um, you can put, you know, you can download um, intro themes and stuff like that. Definitely looking forward to doing that. 
Um, obviously, um, I'm not going to put in the traditional. Um, I'm not going to put in the traditional music because I don't want to get, I don't want to get copyright. <laughs> copyright strike. So I'll do some music with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do some music. So for our second round matchup, we're going to have to find the. So yeah, I mean, I, I want Shawn Michaels to win, but I don't think he's going to. I think, you know, the way that things are going right now, computer logic, the way that the AI has been acting, it, it seems like the big guys, the super heavyweights have been winning. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see what happens.
Yeah, I'm sorry, my headphones fell out. <laughs> Cause I was, I was reading something from Dave Barry, um, trolling, um, fame and the game. Tired. Let's see, what's the rating for the match? Any seven percent? Wow. Best matches so far, which is not surprising because you know obviously Shawn Michaels, you know But yeah, it's best match of the best match so far in the tournament. So now the finals is here. The King of the Ring Finals, the winner will not only be King of the Ring, but will also be WWF Champion. At least right here on Fiber. So, let's go. Andre the Giant versus Umaga. Battle of the Super Heavyweights. Let's get this straight. It's finals. Right. Oh. <laughs> I might have done kick him twice. Lock. Good job. Big <laughs> kick to the stomach. Yeah, I think this, this is, um, I don't think Umaga can win this one, man. Andre, too. I don't think anybody in this, nobody in this game is going to be Andre. Right? <laughs> I don't think, I don't think anybody is going to be Andre in this tournament. I think the only one that stands a chance is my future Hulk Hogan download. That's it. <laughs> That's the only one I think is going to win uh, that title from Andre. It's not, su it's not surprising that the two games that got the most nominations are Red Dead and God of War. Um, Red Dead, I, I think I'll try that game out um, next year. Um, whenever, you know, I'll, I'll try it out. Because um, I definitely want to, um, you know, the game is too good to, to really just not play. The seems too good to not play. My biggest issue that I can see from the game is the micromanaging. I'm not big into micromanaging um, my character. Um, it's one of really the only real reason why I wasn't as big a fan of San Andreas that I was with the other GTA games. Because, oh, damn it. Oh, right back up. Yeah. So yeah, so, and I, I also want to give The Last of Us a try. I keep saying that I'm going to buy the game, but I never just I just never get a chance to do it. Um, and you know, obviously and that would that would make me decide whether or not I'll buy it last year too. Oh, oh this one. This one. Okay. 
Yeah, Andre, Andre's on the... Andre's on the right path here. He's following him. champion oh there we go got a trophy tournament debut no, it's, it's, ironically enough is the worst match <laughs> it's the worst match of the tournament which is not surprising but you know it is what it is you know, Andre Andre is the champion that's all there is to it And that, that's pretty much it for the stream. There you go. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you, uh, you know, you can share this out if you like. Anyways, I'm done. 3186, I'm out. Peace.